Today, I'm going to talk about why clothes may fit poorly, and it all has to do with body proportions and design. First, let's talk about the 12 body types. They are the hourglass, the cello, the goblet, the apple, the brick, the column, the lollipop, the cornet, the skittle, the pear, the vase, and the bell. Each body type has different body proportions in five categories. They are the nip waist, which has three silhouettes, the hourglass, the cello, and the goblet. Next is middle heavy, which has the apple shape. Moving to even proportions with the brick and column shapes. Then top heavy with the lollipop and cornet. Lastly, bottom heavy with the skittle, the pear, the vase, and the bell. Now let's talk about how these proportions could affect the fit of the outfits. Let's say you're a pear shape with a silhouette has small shoulders, short waist, and wide hips. An outfit will fit differently with the opposite proportions of a cornet shape, with wide shoulders, long waist, and narrow hips. The outfit will likely be too small on top and too big on the bottom from the pear shape to the cornet shape, resulting in a poor fit. On the other hand, on the pants, the rise will be too long on the cornet if the pants are made for short waisted of the pear shape. The torso is shorter on the cornet than on the pear where the torso is longer. You see the difference in the length of the rise on both silhouettes are different resulting in different fits. So as you can see, bob proportions can play a big difference in how well the clothes fit. If you know your body shape and proportions, it can be helpful to shop for clothes that are specifically designed for your body type. Here are outfits I've tried on to show you how great styles might not be great on you because body portions of the brand's fit model is not your body type. Yes. I kind of do want to try on a couple of things, see? So I think that overall, I would like a little more. Let's see. So I would say I would like like a little more length here. Just think it's a little bit skimpy for and my arms and then so I don't know what the intent was to have because I know my arms are kind of short. So like if the intent was just to have it like this, but I would like to wear it more like this. Which then becomes a little bit too short. You know, the way so if I see the wrist ankle, I mean the, the bone here, the wrist, then I think it's too short. I would like a little more. So you have like the pooch that is kind of too tight, for, especially for like a bulky sweater like this. I don't like it. You can put my slides up. I know that this, I believe it's 44, I wouldn't get 46 because again here, you can tell it's kind of tight, you know, for where it sits. I wouldn't get like a half inch, half inch here. So open, you definitely need like some kind of hosiery. Like I have leggings on. But, um, yeah. For the bulkiness of you, what you have here, it's a little bit too open from the bottom. But if it was tighter here, feeling more like. Can you see like how it was? sitting here or like this sitting here you know shifting it out a little bit so I think that's why I need to like a one size up because again it's here that's tight I can even feel it but the length is good Full size up. 
But overall, like if it was a full size up, it would fit a lot better. So I typically wear a 46, but this is a 48, and I already can tell that it's big. Um, so you can see that the sleeves are coming longer. I would shorten it about an inch. Because again, typically like I have short arms and I know that I always have to kind of shorten the sleeves. So it hits just covering your wrist bone. Um, that's how the shirt should fit in the sleeve length. And if you look at the shoulders, it's coming off by a half an inch. So I would take it in. So it would sit like right here instead of having it fall here. So right now it's here and I need to fit it. here and that's what it would fit better so by doing that that already automatically showing the sleeve that's why I know like typically you need I need a 46 you know um in terms of the shirt again I think if it was a, my actual size it would hit where it's supposed to hit you know right at the crash line here where your rice starts so it means like that was shortening. Um, but in that, like, for 48, it is the right size, but it's just not my size. Okay. In terms of the jean, um, I think it's a mid rise jean because it just, so you don't know, the mid rise jean just hits like right um, below your belly button. That's a mid rise. So anything that goes covers your belly button. Is a high rise. Anything that falls like within a two inch gap from your belly button is low rise. Um, so for the bust shape, I think it's it's okay. I would like a little more saddle here because I feel like it's short here. I would give it a little more so it, it curves around my butt a lot more. I feel like it's pulling in. And again, like, I know typically, I feel like it's about 32 inches from judging from it, um, which is good if you are wearing heels, but I typically take a 31 inch. Again, it's just, I have short legs, so, um, what up? Like, that's my issue because it's not the front rise. Again, like you see, it's hitting where it's supposed to. It's just the buttons. Like, if you don't have um, a butt shape. Are you right? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. So, if you don't have a round butt shape, then this is okay. But if you have a more rounded butt shape, then you definitely need more saddle, which is. From here, where the inseam and the rise meets, that's what, the part that you need to kind of make longer. So, typically, when you have, you know, like this kind of buckle, there's a pattern issue, there's a way to fix it. Um, yeah. Again, it comes to the inseam and the rise. It's all like, it all needs to be fit here in order to fix here. I think it's also a little bit too tight on the leg. Um, so, typically, like, depending on the brand, I usually take a 29, 30 inch waist. This is a 30, and the leg should not be fitting this, even though I have muscular legs. Again, I think it's a little bit tight. But it also could be the fact that I have bare leggings underneath. <laughs> so this is a 46, so you can tell that the shoulders are getting that where they're supposed to. Um, I think the sleeves is a little long. I would like to have it like hit right here to 
again covering just the wristbone here but as you can see it's covering longer otherwise it just bunches and I know that's like a me issue with having shoulder arms um, a little than that and it fits like it's typically 46 so this is the 46 so it's hitting right at the bone here the wrist bone here is only and you can see like where it's sitting on the shoulder here um, and then the overall fit because it's, it's, it's a stretch kind of fabric so um, the fit is supposed to be I think my only issue is that from what I see the back shoulder here like it's talking where you can see where there's like this bubbling so I think the slightly the issue and then the shoulder seam is also rolling to the back which typically when you do the roll back is on the mid you don't do it with a shirt you know it's supposed to fall on the shoulder seam I would kind of shift it a little forward this is like about three quarters of the twin inch. Seems like it's pulling up here. And my biggest issue is here. Again, I would give a little more room around the hips because what's happening is I'm not even that heavy, but you can see that it's tight around the hip here. In comparison, like I have a room here, but I don't have like if I close this up, you see that it's on. Right? If I move around, you can see there's a lot more room here. So then what happens is you see like this bubbling happens because this is really holding in place because it's shifting up to where it's a little bit looser. So it's like Do you see the bubble that's happening? This. So, yeah, that's what happens when you don't have enough hip room. And it's not necessarily the front because if you look at the seam here, it is hitting where it's supposed to. So that would give it a little butt shape. So I would add in like three quarter, three quarter on each side to give it a little more butt shape. So I think whoever did the model is has less butt than me, which is why. And typically, I see this quite a bit where people don't accommodate for the butt, and this all happens a lot with the shirts. You know, if something this this is a stretch fabric, you know, so it shouldn't happen. My only issue is around the bust. There's not enough bust protection. So I would definitely give it, I would even add in a dart to give a little more in the pattern like here or extend it out by half inch and half inch and give it another inch. So it just does I don't have because I don't like this pole. I don't know if you kind of see like this is pole. So if I give it half an inch, it will kind of relax a little bit more. If I give it a thought, it will just shake in around the bust a lot more. It's just a little bit. Sometimes when you have it when it's too tight, and someone with a bigger bust than me, what happens is because the bust is bigger, it pulls and distorts the pattern. And for brand like Petro, because it's a brand that's you know for print, you don't want the print to be stored by pulling and torquing. So this is a size 42, which I think is too short. I mean too small for me because the sleeve is short. It's hitting like it's hitting just on the bone where it should really cover. So it needs like a little bit and because it's 
another another reason why I'm cold is because here it's high pink. So it's supposed to go like this. So if the shoulders are wider, they fall like where the metric should fall. Instead of right now, the shoulders are pushing it out. So that's why it's high pink. You can kind of see going ch -ch peaking. You can see the fan on this side the sleeve a lot more. <laughs> Let's try on the 36. Sometimes I love the metallic thread, you know, but the problem is it looks very pretty, you know, but it's also very itchy to wear. So this is So this is the 46, so if you see this sleeve, it's shaping the way it's supposed to shape because my shoulders aren't pushing out and making it high. Let me see that I almost want to take out maybe like an inch so it doesn't fall again. It's because I have short arms so I know that it's not supposed to go like this, I think it's supposed to go like this. This gathering here, I will reduce it a little bit because it's too voluminous. So with this, I will kind of reduce the sharing by like 15% kind of taking off a little bit. Because you see like, you get so voluminous in the front, it almost looks like I'm a turning tongue. Okay. I don't know if you see this, so the front looks like it's longer, it's hitting past the crash point. I would kind of like shorten it because you see like the front to back. It's dipping in the front, it looks like it's hiking in the back, so it's a balance. So can you see the... Do you see like it's... Sh it's short in the back, and it's long in the front. Then... Let's do the column check to see that it's fitting, that you have to, that's not choking you. So, okay. So I think like if I, again, if I took out some of the volume like right here, it would look less of a maternity top. But because right now the way it's falling naturally, Jacket is good, it's hitting like in a so point of jacket, the sleeve length should be kind of hitting almost grazing to where your thumb. So, like, there should be an inch difference between here. So, it should cover below your shirt, it should cover your, sh your shirt sleeve, like, typically. Um, and that's the intention of the cut as a crisis sleeve jacket. This is the right link. And in terms of this being a crop jacket, it should kind of, if you play mid rise, it should cover your waistband. Otherwise, it's too short because the minute you lift up, you're going to kind of expose your belly kind of thing. So it should really like, can you see how? The mid right is here, and you see how this jacket is covering. This is the proper length 
for a crap jacket unless you intentionally crap a shirt with the intent of showing your belly. This is the proper way. It's just so you know. And then the shoulders should be coming out a little bit more. And usually the sleeve setting should not, your sleeve cap should not be so full. Your shoulders should come out and should take out some of the fullness of your sleeve cap. So this is a good fit for the sleeve and shoulders sitting where it's supposed to. If you enjoyed this video, please join my Patreon for exclusive content and how to recreate looks from the runway based on your body proportions as well as brand recommendations in curating a high quality wardrobe without paying design prices. If you need one-on-one -on -one styling help, please book a styling session with me today. And please subscribe and help me grow this channel. Thank you. Bye.